Hello to everybody, I'm Nicole Zigliotto, and my PhD project was aimed to identify biomarkers of multiple sclerosis, a central nervous system disease which is the main cause of young adults of irreversible physical and neurological disability. For this purpose, we investigate in patients, first, candidate MS genes, second, mRNA from the vessel wall, and third, selected proteins from blood. Starting with the genomic approach, sequencing of all coding DNA in families and all selected DNA regions in unrelated MS patients revealed the new and rare mutations that are more frequent in patients than in genomic database. Moving to the mRNA study, considering that vascular aspects are important features in MS pathogenesis, we investigated in multiple sclerosis patients the wall of internal jugular vein, which drains the blood from the brain. This high-density analysis by microarray indicated in patients hundreds of dysregulated genes which belong to biological pathways, including immunity, inflammation, and cell adhesion. The dysregulated signals provided hints for the third approach at the protein level. Selected proteins were quantified in plasma by multiple exosay to evaluate their potential application as disease bio progression biomarkers. The chemokine CCL18 involved in chemotaxis of immune cells was associated with more severe neurodegenerative features as supported by magnetic resonance imaging data that provide quantitative measures of brain atrophy and disease progression. We also detected potential biomarkers of cerebral microbleeds, small hemorrhage which might reflect the progressive failure of blood brain integrity in patients. Interestingly, MS patients with cerebral microbleeds show the lowest levels of the enzyme ADAN13, a main regulator of hemostasis, and increased levels of vascular adhesion protein 1, an adhesion protein which facilitates leukocyte infiltration into inflamed tissue through free radicals formation. Combined experimental approaches provided candidate biomarkers of interest both for clinical and mechanistic studies. This research was being possible thanks to the collaboration with several groups. Thank you for watching this video and if you are interested in this research, follow me on ResearchGate.